guys Outdoor Enthusiast 88 here again. So today we're out here testing the Yeti Works Switchback Grip. See that there? It is a upgrade modification for your CZ Scorpion. What this grip allows you to do is it actually adds a little bit more texture over the standard grip as well as brings your hand down a little bit where the original kind of has your hand riding up like this. But with a short nine millimeter barrel weapon like this, you're really gonna wanna bring your hand down uh, almost like one of the Magpul K2 grips. Uh, it's just something great, especially for like AR pistols, for scorpions, MP5s. You want something a little bit more angled downward rather than angled out. So this is an excellent upgrade. We'll go onto the table here in a minute, show you guys a little more detail of it. But let's go ahead, put some rounds through it. Scorpion's been doing really well recently. I uh, finally got a chance to sight it in. Things seem to be pretty spot on now. Did about 25 yards for sighting in which is a good range for this particular firearm. Pretty good, it's a nice grip. So installing the Yeti Works switchback is actually a pretty simple process. It's a fairly easy installation, but I want to show you guys before we do that just how different the grip angles are. You can kind of really tell here. Uh, this is much more back where this is a little bit forward, which is good for a more comfortable shooting experience, really, in my opinion. So what you're going to need here is you will need a hex wrench, and you may actually need a rubber mallet, and I'll show you why. What you're going to do is take your hex wrench, and actually before you even start, obviously make sure this is clear. Go ahead and put your firearm in the fire position. And you'll see this screw here. I did move to fire just to kind of get that out of the way a little bit. That screw is the only screw you will need to make the adjustment to get the grip off and put the new one on. Take that old screw out. Now this is a problem you might run into. Uh, this is actually a plastic grip on a plastic rail and it's gonna slide straight back. There's nothing in the way. You might be to hit it with your hand. See that moving a little bit? I do the mallet because the first time you do that, it might be really stiff. Some of these are really stiff, honestly. But you'll see that kind of slides off like that. There is a double hole here, and that's designed to bring your grip back or forward slightly. And that actually is because original grips, like original aftermarket grips, like the Yeti Works here, the Switchback, they actually would not let you take the lower or the trigger pack out without moving this back a little bit. And that would actually, if you did lock it back, it would leave a little gap here, but it allows you to take this off. Now, new ones allow you to take it out anyways, and I'll show you guys that. Now, installing it is pretty much the opposite. So what you're gonna do, line it up. It is definitely a very tight fit the first time. You see that right there? Take your new screw, run it all the way through. I am gonna push it all the way forward. I don't see a point in leaving it in the back at all, really. Thread it down. Kind of hand tighten. Don't have to be too crazy with it. There is thread locker on there. And there you go. Now you have a little bit more comfortable grip. And now what you do have is you do have these core, this core here, this core plug rather. Uh, this plug actually makes it so you can basically have a water resistant compartment in there. But you also have this larger back strap. Now the larger back strap, all you do is you punch out this little pin right here, and you can see how it kind of slides in, and you slide it in. I didn't have it upside down. You slide it in, and it has a little bit of a hump to it. Uh, I kind of like how sleek this is. Uh, the hump will fill larger hands though, so this actually might be the way to go, but this is how you put it on your CZ Scorpion. So wrapping this video up, guys, the Yeti Works Switchback. A uh, very nice grip, uh, decent price point for what it is. Uh, it's a, definitely a good shape and ergonomics for the most part. You'll see that I put the, ba the larger back strap on there. I'm kind of torn between the large back strap and the flat back strap, to be honest with you. I put the pin out, I took the plug out, just to kind of show you guys how to switch them out. But the larger one fills your hand pretty well, which is decent for shooting. I think it helps kind of have the same position every time when you put your hand on there. Uh, but what you can actually do is, when you pull this off, and this is how it slides off, pull it straight down, go ahead and grab the thinner one here, which is the one I majority of the time I will shoot with. 
thin one goes on. I just like how it's kind of a little more slim. It kind of reminds me more of a, uh, an AR type of uh, actual grip uh, instead of having the big bulky back strap. But a lot of folks like either one, so really it's kind of user preference there. Uh, and I will tell you right now that um, these, you know, they're a little bit pricey. Uh, however, they're also out of stock. So they are very popular. Uh, sometimes you can find them on sale if you can find them in stock. So kind of keep an eye out, put your name on those email notifications. Uh, you'll definitely come up. You can also find them used sometimes on uh, various sites. So go ahead and look around for these kind of used. That's a good price on those. You'll notice I did add some upgrades to the Scorpion recently. A little Sig Romeo 5, Olight. Valkyrie, HBI duckbill, mini AK, safety selector switch. So we'll talk about some of these and more uh, in future videos, so stay tuned. Uh, go ahead and uh, do me a favor, go to Instagram, go ahead and follow us on our Instagram. We're uh, at uh, Outdoor Enthusiast 88. So that's at Outdoor Enthusiast 88. I post pictures before I even do the reviews, kind of get an idea for what's coming up. And Instagram seems to be the, uh, the main social media nowadays uh, versus Facebook and Twitter. So go ahead, follow me on there. Um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. You know, like this video. Let me know if you have any questions below and I'll see you in the next review.